I think everybody brings a different experience, a different perspective, a different sensibility to their success. And whether you're a woman or a man, different things affect you. But certainly when I started out in the business, uh, women weren't in many prominent positions of authority. Oh, look. <laughs> She's so cute. Wow, she is so pretty. What are you doing talking to me? You should be shooting Allie Berry. I mean, it wasn't old broad like me doing here. Yeah. <laughs> No, but yes. <laughs> no, but yes, yes. I think it's great. And, I, you know, um, I obviously, I mean, it's great for me personally. And, and I, But I do think times are changing. And I, I think the attitude to women are ch is changing massively. And that's part of what I'm going to talk about a little bit tonight. You know, um, before. The great advantage of being as old as I am, although I never like in my head I can't believe I'm that old but I kind of know that I am and the way that I know that I am is is, is by perceiving how the world has changed um, and it's so different now to when I was 24 I wouldn't want to be who I am now at the age of 24 let's put it that way I much prefer being who I am at this age Morgan, can you give us one great story about Helen? It's uh, she's here today. And, you know, what's the one thing? You oh, you're talking about the woman I love? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I was surprised when I looked at the invitation that she was going to be one of the main honorees. So uh, I get to see her again. I haven't seen her in about three or four months. So I need a fix. What's it mean to be number one? I, I have to tell you, it is lovely. I, I think it's a celebration of the Disney ABC television group, hands down. This is a terrific group that really hit it out of the park this year. The bad news is, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> no, it's never downhill. It's, there's, there's always another hill to climb. Somebody brought me a picture of Helen Mirren in a bikini on a beach. And I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I studied it, I stared at it, flipped it over, upside down, looked through it. I was like, hold it a minute. How is this possible? And Helen, I have to say, as a woman in an industry who's now aging, I'm 44, you give me such hope and such inspiration that we can still work on our own terms and your face can stay as it always was. And you have a grace and an elegance about you that will have you working until you decide to say you want to stop. And for, for that reason, you are a huge mentor of mine. And I hope you continue to do Hollywood on your own terms because nobody does it better. So it is my great honor to present the Sherry Lansing Leadership Award to you, Dame Helen Mirren. In my career, as I got older, you know, journalists uh, were and are still always asking me kind of to complain about the opportunities for older women on screen, and I certainly could complain about that. I've seen too many of my brilliant colleagues who worked nonstop through their 20s, their 30s, and their 40s, and only to find a complete desert in their 50s. And no work means no income. You can't earn enough to keep yourself. I certainly could complain about the fact that virtually every drama made for film, stage, or television has 20 male characters to maybe the one, two, or if you're lucky, three female characters. And that includes Shakespeare, incidentally. <laughs> Why do you think I had to play Prospero in The Tempest? <laughs> I had to nick one of their roles. 